Hey you guys, it's Leah with Modern Family Designs and today I decided to change up homeschool a little bit and we added in a cooking class. We decided to make pot stickers from scratch for the very first time all together. <laughs> so come along with us and let's see how they turned out. The first thing we started out with was making our dough, which is three basic ingredients, a little bit of salt, some flour, and some water. Then Brooklyn and Lily did the mixing to create the dough, just a little bit of water at a time, mix it in, and just keep that process going until you've mixed in all the water. Next, you have to mold the dough together with your hands. This we could have been a little bit more thorough with, as I realized. Um, kneading is definitely an art form. I am not a baker, nor do I claim to be, but we did a good enough job that it was still workable dough. Next was ingredient prep for our meat mixture. So we cut up the cabbage in a very magical fashion. <laughs> Uh, green onions were next on the menu, some garlic, and we put it all together in the pan. No, we did not. What we actually did is just add the ground pork and the cabbage and cooked that all up together until we had fully cooked pork and all the water had cooked off of the cabbage. Then we added in our green onion and our garlic and let that cook some flavor into it to finish off our meat mixture. Now you may notice that I skipped over the part of rolling out the circles for our pot sticker wrappers. Let's just say I don't do symmetrical shapes. It's just not something I'm good at. So you get to see my wonky, wonky pot sticker wrappers as I fill them up with meat and get them prepped to put in the pan. Thanks to all the years of cooking frozen pot stickers, this part I'm pretty good at. But I also realized I'm not as good as I thought I was. This is where you are supposed to steam and crisp the bottom of your pot stickers. I did an okay job, just a little more crispy bottom than I was anticipating, as you will see during everyone's taste testing. All right, Lily, first. First taste, you're gonna take a bite and then try it with the soy sauce. It's not a mixture, it's just soy sauce. Yeah, that tastes like, that tastes like it. That tastes like, like a real pot sticker? Mm -hmm. Hot diggity dog. Like, I have the exact same taste. Mm. Okay, I, I don't know how it, yeah. <laughs> Is it dripping? Uh -huh. Okay, big question. With or without the soy sauce? Um, without. Without the soy sauce? Awesome. So, final verdict? One or two thumbs up. Ooh! All right, Graydon, your turn. Official taste test. First impression? It's hard. It's crunchy on the bottom. It's supposed to be a little crunchy on the bottom. So one or two thumbs up compared to other pot stickers that we've had. Oh, you're gonna try the soy sauce too? It's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> that one is really crunchy on the bottom. All right, so compared to other pot stickers, one or two thumbs up? Just one? You like the frozen ones a little better? All right, Bricky's turn to try a pot sticker. The edges are, or the bottoms are a little crisp on some of them. Yeah. <laughs> so we figured out. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you're not a fan. Oh, you're not even gonna finish chewing. All right, Emmy's turn. Official taste test. I wouldn't dip it. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Mm. You want to try a little bit more and then tell me your thoughts? All right, Emmy. <gasps> Two thumbs up. Oh my goodness. We are winning today. Three out of four kids approved. Not bad. And of course, this video would not be complete without a quick gallivant down to Aaron's work to get our food connoisseur's opinion on the pot stickers that we worked so hard on. We are on site for delivery right. to Aaron. They're still, are they still warm? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Nice texture. Got like a nice mix of like the crusty bottom, you know, and the softness. I can taste some meat right away, which usually in those crappy freezer ones, you can't really taste meat. That's true. Is, That's true. That's really good. Yeah, so mm. one or two thumbs up. Oh, hey now. <laughs> All right, here, you get the rest of them. Mm, that's, my, that's my prize for getting that's your, up. That's your prize, because you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed our fun little pot stickers from scratch video. This was definitely a first for me. I have never done a voiceover. I have never done a cooking video. So as you can see, I am no Pinterest mom, but we still had a lot of fun. And my husband was so excited that I made something a little more exciting than chicken and rice for him to eat for dinner that night.